Well, soon the National Park sir, uh, will be begin a massive repair project around the Tidal Basin, restoring and improving the iconic spot. But the project, it comes at a cost, including the loss of a well-known cherry tree. Our Mario Carbone explains. You can see the need for this project here. Where we're standing right now, this area is crumbling due to twice a day flooding. Now to fix this, the National Park Service says it'll need to remove more than 100 trees planted along the seawall here. That includes this tree, affectionately known as Stumpy. As the cherry trees move closer to peak bloom, it's amazing. A not so pretty scene clouds the many photos taken here. Yeah, the flooding is noticeable. A crumbling seawall, muddy grounds, and debris lined walkways. I do think of it as messy. Yeah. Soon that'll change as the National Park Service prepares to begin a multi year repair project. We are on the cusp of beginning the reconstruction. Mike Litteris is the spokesperson for the National Mall. He says a rise in sea level and sinking seawall have led to twice a day flooding here, eroding the area and killing the cherry trees. It inundates the roots of the cherry trees. To fix this, MPS will reconstruct 6,800 feet of seawall, anchor it to the bedrock, raise the basin, and widen the walkways. But it comes at a cost, $113 million, and the removal of 140 cherry trees around the basin, including a fan favorite known as Stumpy. Stumpy is a, a climate change story. His appearance is due to climate change, and the only way we can fix the problem caused by that, that climate change is to, to repair the seawall. And the tree, which blooms despite decaying, is a sign of hope for many. I'm heartbroken to hear that. I mean, it's so beautiful to see mm -hmm. cherry blossoms or soon to be cherry blossoms mm -hmm. blooming out of that. It, it is a stump, but but look, there's there's cherry blossoms growing out of it. Yeah. NPS says it'll replace and replant more cherry trees when the project is complete. Well, I'm going to take a photo, Stumpy. Yes. So that I will always have Stumpy. <laughs> and work on the project won't start until late spring, early summer. So after this year's bloom is over, and Lutters also says trees like Stumpy will be turned into mulch and then used throughout the National Mall area, so their legacy will live on. Reporting from the Tidal Basin, I'm Arielle Carbone, DC News Now.